All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of To The Max Outdoors. It is uh, Saturday, October the 21st. It is youth doe season here in West Virginia. We're on a big giant piece of public property that we're gonna to try to get Max, who's still youth, to harvest him a small doe, because this is pretty rough country in here where we're at. It is currently 15 minutes till eight and it honestly just became light enough to shoot. Uh, legal shooting time this morning would have been 7.07, I believe, according to the, the numbers, but it's overcast, it's lightly misting, rain, thick fog, and the wind's blowing, so perfect conditions for deer hunting. Ducks, maybe, not deer, but I don't know. We're gonna run in around the back of this ridge and uh, we'll catch up with you <clears throat> when we get there. Well, we just made our first half a mile trip. Come down this old road here, half a mile down into the bottom. Um, there's actually a creek here, over in here. That creek feeds back into the, the main part of the lake. I've had good success down here in the years past, but just not seeing any sign at all down here. Oh well. We'll keep trying here. We're gonna walk back up and stay a little bit higher and see if there's some sign up high, so we'll catch back All up. All right, so we just made a uh, nine, 9.2 tenths of a mile track there according to the Onyx tracker. Now we're back out here on this uh, really nice road. The left side of this road here is not hunting. That's state park boundary, but we're gonna walk out here to a, a land bridge make a little cross up into uh, another hollow here where I know a bunch of white oaks are. Hopefully we can get that. Unfortunately, that last little trip that we just made there, there's oak trees in there, but they, they didn't hit. The deer sign was few and far between. So yep. we're going to stay on this really nice graveled road here and try not to continue to get any more wet than we already are. It's a uh, we've got wet today that's what i'm going to say we we've been at it now for uh an hour and 20 minutes so we, we weren't hurrying around the hill but we were putting a pretty good pace around the hill because the, the still a lot of foliage on down low couldn't see a whole lot and that hollow was a lot deeper and tighter than i thought it, than i remembered it was it's been many years since i've been in there but anyways we got the face mask bandit with us today. The walk back was all uphill and took a pretty long time to get up. So. Yeah, that's why I said small doe. If we see a deer down there, it's got to be a small doe because it's straight uphill. When you look at the topo map lines, they're almost touching each other. So, All right, we'll catch back up with you here shortly. Well, we've seen two deer so far. Coming out here through this nice graveled road. Uh, one deer was in some thick stuff. Max didn't feel like he could make a proper shot at it. And lo and behold, the other, the one other truck that was in the parking lot, we run into those three people. It was a senior, a, a young girl, and a dad, the dad of the girl. And within 100 yards of running into them, there was a big mature doe standing in the right of way and the girl was younger than Max that I could see. So I held us back and the little girl didn't get a shot. They they busted a deer out before it came, but oh well, still two deer on a pretty dreary, crappy day. I'm not gonna complain about it too much. The scenery is beautiful. You see down through there, this is the lake. We're just coming out around we're just easing along these gravel roads here. It's easy to put miles on. Look up through all these nice right aways Ooh, what do we have? What is that right there? It's not a deer. See, my eyes are playing tricks on me. No, nope. it's one of them stump deers. I think Max is having a pretty good time so far. We're at about that two and a half, two and three quarter mile mark on the 
Onyx tracker, so. Yeah. Just biggest takeaway, I don't understand. People how can't I'm hear you, Max. Oh. Biggest takeaway, I don't understand how people hike for fun. <laughs> Max, is, Max is questioning why people hike. And it, this is, as you can see, we're on gravel road. We're not even on any of the trails like we were on first thing this morning. Uh, I don't know. Some people get a kick out of it. It's just not something that we've ever done. And obviously, he's not a fan of it. So, I don't know. We got another <clears throat> quarter of a mile to go, maybe out through this road. If we don't jump anything up, we're going to turn around, head back to the truck. Somebody's got to be home today early. So that kind of shoots the afternoon out. And if we do kill something back in here, it's going to take him a couple hours to drag it out of here. So I'll catch back with you later. All right, so we're at the uh, 1.9 mile mark right now on this trail that we've walked. Like I said, we've seen a couple deer. One of them we can't get a shot at, and the other one we tried to let somebody else shoot at. I think we've... Uh, hit the end of the road for today's hunt. It's uh, it's coming up on 10 o'clock right now. Max has got some things to do around midday. Uh, we're, I don't know, 40, 45 minutes from the house. So we just stopped here to take a little break in the bottom of this valley. Still a lot of underbrush and a lot of leaves still on the tree. Usually you can see good bits off the sides of this road, but oh well, we've got out. We've put almost a almost two two almost two and a half miles on right now and we still got we still got well over a mile a mile and a quarter to get back but it's easy gravel road so not that bad hopefully we can see one of those two deer again that we've seen um, there really is no other way to get out of here because the way the lake the way the pockets of the lake feel here you can't really go around without going miles out of your way i hate to backtrack but it just is what it is for today. Um, I think Max is figuring out that putting some miles on is different than, uh, this is the first time he's ever actually been out with me putting miles on like this. It's kind of my thing. I kind of enjoy it. That's what public land's about. This is a huge, this is, this is tens of thousands of acres of property here, and it's pretty well all one big track with some little jetties in it, but it's a nice big piece of property, and I've hunted this area a lot, and I like to just get out and roam, especially like today. It's a, it's a windy day. I know it's probably, the camera's probably picking up. It's windy and it's wet, so you can be quiet. You can get up on deer. They're not too super skittish. Um, all in all, it's a good day. I don't know. We'll be back, I guess. We'll, we'll, I think he's like this well enough that we'll be back in, in buck season for sure. Um, when the leaves are off, you can see a lot better, and... To get a little more planning involved in this, I'll bring the boat up. And if you bring a boat here, it opens up access tremendously. I mean, it, it, it's a game changer. It really is a game changer. So we'll plan a trip like this with the boat, you know, somewhere in deer season, maybe muzzleloader. Well, I don't know. This area does get hunted pretty hard because it is fairly easy access. So it is what it is. But there's enough thickets in it that deer do survive pretty well, pretty well in it. Let's face it, nobody really hunts like they used to anymore. So. I don't know. All in all, it's been a pretty good day. I haven't got too awful hot. Both of us just got a little base layer on and some thin, just some thin lightweight stuff on. He's got the same on. Yeah. So, I don't know. It is what it is. We're going to get us a, a couple drinks of Gatorade here and we're going to beat feet back to the truck. So, we'll catch up with you at the truck. Hopefully, we catch up before then shooting at a deer. But if not, we'll see you back at the All right, everyone. That puts an end to the. Uh, the day the morning hunt we'll call it for the uh 2023 first youth doe season here in west virginia for max and i like i said we uh we only had part of the day to hunt i'll say the better half of the morning to hunt um i just checked my onyx there we put just shy we're like three tenths we're three tenths of a mile shy of doing four miles um so I feel pretty good about covering some ground. He did okay, other than wearing his face mask all day. Other than that, he did pretty good. Um, I don't know. There, there's very little deer sign in here, and that kind of that kind of shocks me. Usually, this area here has some pretty good. 
deer sign in it, but the, the oak trees on the back part where we started here, the oak trees just didn't hit through there. Uh, that's the first place we went. Really didn't see any good deer sign down there. No good active trails. Very, very few tracks. Uh, there is some gas and oil wells back through there, so there is some, uh, I'm going to call them unimproved roads where they have been in to check those wells, the well tenders have. So, you know, it's easy to spot deer tracks on them, and there really wasn't very good sign back through there. Now, as you did see, when we walked out the uh, gravel road there, that gravel road goes around the state park perimeter. Uh, we talked about that. The one side of it was state park, and the other side of it was, was WMA property. Uh, th there was some better deer sign, I'll say, back through there, but not what I thought it should have been. And there was a good bit of oak on the road. Uh, there's a trail out there called White Oak Trail, and there was decent oak out through there on the road, but just not really the deer sign. I don't know, maybe those white oaks didn't hit very good, or maybe there's some red oaks mixed in there. I never really studied the trees to tell, but all in all, we had a good day. Max got to put a few, we'll say his intro to step hunting, what I consider that step hunting. So he got his little intro to it. I, I think he kind of likes it, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. He said he liked it better than sitting in a blind. Yeah. So it is what it is. We didn't get to put a deer down with a 6.5 Grindle today. That's what I was hoping he would get to do. Unfortunately, that didn't happen, but hey, that's hunting. This is real life hunting, and this is public ground hunting. And this public piece right here that we're doing the outro on, this parking lot's packed come the week of Thanksgiving. Yeah. So, you know, all in all, seeing two deer in just shy of four miles, I'm okay with that. I mean, I'm not happy about it, but it's better than getting skunked. So, we'll yeah. see. Uh, so, stick around. We'll bring you more. Thanks for watching to the Max Outdoors.